Hi, my name is Jack. For my video essay on sustainability, I talked to a Georgia Tech student, Pete Macaluso, about the organization Food Not Bombs. Hey, my name is Pete Macaluso. Uh, I'm a fourth year chemical engineering student at Tech. And this here is Food Not Bombs Atlanta. Um, it's a program that tries to get food that would probably otherwise be thrown away and get it to some people who can appreciate it, who can appreciate a good free meal. Um, we're out here on Ponce, uh, next to the Home Depot, and there's a lot of day laborers who come around here looking for work for the day, and we think we can help them out by getting them a free lunch. Um, this is where we do our serving. Um, everybody's kind of picked it over already today. We had a pretty good crowd. Um, all the potatoes we brought are gone. Uh, put a dent in our stir fry and our salad. This is the group behind Food Not Bombs Atlanta. Um, I think they'd like to introduce themselves, maybe tell you a little bit about the group. Uh, I go by Earthworm. I work with Food Not Bombs. Uh, it's a group that gets food that would otherwise go to waste and serves it for free in a public place so anybody that's hungry can have some. My name is Ari. I'm pretty new to Food Not Bombs, but I really like it as a way of, like Earthworm said, turning something that would otherwise be waste into very usable food for a lot of folks who wouldn't get otherwise. Uh, hi, my name is Vincent. Um, I've been with Food Not Bombs since 2006, and um, I think one of the things that's really shocking when uh, you start to do this sort of thing is you see how much food really is available. Um, the, uh, the idea of food being something scarce, especially in America, um, is really kind of strange. Um, well, I like Food Not Bombs because I think they're taking a problem that's definitely within their means to solve um, and just going out and doing it. You know, Atlanta's our city, uh, it's where we live, and it has a hunger and homelessness problem. And this is just taking a step in the right direction of fixing it. You know, it's, it's not an insurmountable problem. Uh, there's just obstacles to getting the food where it needs to go, and these guys just do it in a very direct and to the point way. It's really effective at solving the problem.